Tablets are excellent e-readers since they are portable. Meetings benefit greatly from the use of tablets. Tablets are fantastic for watching movies and listening to music. Traveling with tablets is a fantastic idea. In short the tablets are becoming necessity. But if instead of tablet we get iPad it would be dream come true like every year Apple has presented new masterpiece. The all-new iPad Pro. In the tablet market, Apple is almost unchallenged. The modern digital laptop-derived processor is the focus of attention, but the new small LED-lit display is the real game-changer in our opinion. The iPad Pro is the greatest tablet available. Year after year, Apple gets closer to producing an iPad that I can use as a full-fledged laptop. It is a large tablet, as you'd expect of a device with a 12.9 inches screen, with a resolution of 2732x2048 pixels. But it is 5.9 millimeters thin. Yeah, that is truth. Whereas earlier iPad Pros featured 72 LEDs behind the screen to illuminate the display, the new model has almost 10,000 LEDs. The new Retina display in liquid form. Thousands of tiny LEDs light up the display, which is essentially mini LED technology. The more LEDs you have, the more control you have over the overall screen contrast and the depth of blacks in any one area. Whether you're gaming it still has a 120Hz refresh rate for smooth and responsive gamma play, sketching with the Apple Pencil, or editing photographs in Lightroom, this display impresses. Before we move further in this video, please press the subscribe button and hit bell icon for tech news, tech updates and tech reviews. The iPad Pro is equipped with the same new M1 CPU found in the latest MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, Mac Mini, and iMac models. Does this imply that the iPad Pro can perform similar tasks to a desktop computer? Correct. Its benchmark results were similar to the MacBook Airs, although it outperformed the 2020 iPad Pro by a large margin. However, the extra power didn't make much of a difference in everyday use. The iPad Pro, like its predecessor, is a lightning-quick device. Whether I was sketching, writing, editing with multiple Safari tabs open, all handled including all of my regular duties with ease. Of course, some people will be able to take advantage of this extra power, such as those who edit numerous streams of 4K video or generate complicated CAD models. If that's the case, you'll be ecstatic at how quickly this thing moves. While the Apple Pencil 2 has a more basic design than the original, it is a significant upgrade over the original. The matte plastic style is more comfortable to hold than its glossy counterpart, and it's also slightly shorter. Overall, it feels like holding a pencil in your hand, which we're guessing is precisely what Apple was trying for based on the name. The Apple Pencil 2's charging system is perhaps the most significant upgrade over the original Apple Pencil. The Pencil 2 clamps magnetically to the side of the iPad instead of uncomfortably protruding out of the charging port. This not only ensures that the Apple Pencil is always charged, but it also makes it much easier to grasp and use whenever inspiration strikes. Having the pencil on hand at all times is especially beneficial with Scribble, which allows you to scribble anywhere you can input text across the whole iOS operating system. The battery life is rated at 12 hours, and we didn't run out of charge even after a long drawing session. Keeping it clamped to the iPad between uses ensures that it is always fully charged. The top and bottom edges of the tablet each have two sets of speaker perforations, so you're listening in stereo when the iPad is oriented horizontally. Also along the edges are physical power and volume buttons, plus a USB-C socket that supports the much faster Thunderbolt standard, opening up the opportunity to connect higher-end storage devices and monitors. The front is all glass, but there's a 9mm black border between the display and the tablet's edge. Embedded into this border is a new front-facing camera that can follow you around in the style of Facebook portal. This is a great feature for FaceTime calls. Front-facing camera is excellent in terms of image quality, thanks to a 12MP resolution and ultra-wide field of view. The rear camera array is solid too, boasting a main 12MP wide camera, 10MP ultra-wide camera and a true tone flash. The iPad Pro has 9720mAh non-removable battery. It's the pretty big battery, isn't it? The iPad Pro is available in 128GB, 256GB, 515 GB, 1 terabyte, and even 2 terabyte. The buying links are available in the Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe.